Hello, welcome everybody, RP here, and this is Primitive Society Simulator. I reached out to the developers of this game, YSH Big Dove, uh, and asked them if I could have an early access key, and I got granted an early access key. So this game drops February 26 on Steam 2024. Uh, they do have a demo out right now, you can check that out, it's like 10 hours long, something like that. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool game. So what is this game? Uh, I'll tell you what it is according to the developer before we get started here. So we all have a kind of a little overview of what it is. In this primitive society simulator, you will play the role of a leader of an ancient tribe inspired by ancient Chinese legends, as well as games such as RimWorld, Dawn of Man, and Stone Age. So that's what the developer describes the game as. I suggest if you haven't played a game like this and you want to learn to play a game like this, the tutorial for this game is actually very good. I played it. I understand the game. Not saying I'm going to be any good at the game, but I understand the game. Let's go ahead and start a new game. I'm going to let things go just the way they appear. This is how the start of uh, every game is. You then change it from here. Most games start on normal. This one, however, starts on easy. I'm just going to go ahead and go with it. Just as we learn it, I think you can up the ante uh, later on. I'm not sure, but maybe you can. Either way, we're just taking a look at this right now. And if you guys want to see more of it, you know what you should do. Hit the like button. Let me know what you think. Uh, drop a few comments. I want some opinions on this. And uh, have you ever played it? And if you have, I want some tips. All right? Don't forget. I've, I've never played it before. I mean, I have just for a few hours to kind of get used to it. All right. So we have Vitality Intelligence. What I do is I go down and I look. If I find somebody that's like a one vitality, I just go ahead and randomize it and get them out of the one zone. Everything else, I'll leave it. I just don't want them in the one zone. You know what I'm saying? I want to have a little bit of uh, a better chance of our uh, people surviving. So this looks good. We'll go ahead. We'll just start with these guys. I hope everybody's having a good day today. I hope you had a great day at work. If you're part of the workforce... And I hope you had a great day at school if you were, uh, you know, grinding away at school today. Anyway, the grind should be done. The grind's done for me, and I'm ready to play some games. I'm all done with my job. And now it's time to do what I really love to do, which is make videos about video games. Here we go. The hillside we once called home was swallowed up by a sudden blizzard. Everything perished. Compelled by our fate, we set out on a long journey to find a new home. Rivers flowed towards the sun as the land stretched out to touch the sky as far as the eyes could see. The wilderness broadened before us. In the end, we found a safe place, a land rich with life. We will continue to accept nature's blessings and tribulations. Our people will survive. All right. What do we have here? We're in pause, so nothing's happening. Let's take a look at what we have for information in front of our faces. Top right, sun, temperature, Spring, one, year, one, time, wealth, prestige, tribes, people, a pause and a speed up type menu system, along with symbols that allow you to hide and show different aspects of building and nature. We also have our little supply window here. This lets us at a glance, see what we have in stock for our supplies. We can go ahead and hit the hide. Top left, we will get alerts from time to time in the game, so we should be aware of these. Right now, the first alert is obvious. They're all sleeping on the ground. We need to fix that. We will. Here are all of our tribes people. And the bottom tabs will just address those as we go. So the first one we'll address is built. I would like to get my people a bonfire going. If you play the tutorial, you're going to find out everything that I'm doing right now is basically how the tutorial tells you to get started. So let's go ahead and we're going to throw a bonfire right here. And then we're also going to build them a structure so they're no longer laying on the ground. You can turn the map using the Q and the E buttons. And if you want to zoom in, you roll your mouse wheel. W-A-S-D in order to move around. But you can also hold in the middle mouse button and that will move you around as well. So now that I have that, what I want to do is I want to get my people a place to live pretty close to the fire. So I'm going to have it right here. I'm going to pull out a five width by 35 long. And there it is. There's our first structure. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw a floor in here. I'm going to put that out as a 25. That's done. All right, so there's their house. This is the first place they're going to live. They've got a little bonfire here. Now, how this works is the bonfire is a place that they come to at the end of the day, every day, at the end of the workday. So what we need to build is we need to build these little bonfire seats right here. And this is what they'll do. They'll sit around the bonfire. 
and then they'll go to sleep. So we have eight tribes people, so we'll put down eight stones. And now we will unpause the game and let these guys get busy uh, building their first uh, shelter and building their first bonfire. If we want to speed things up, we can obviously go right up to that menu and click the icons to do it. But we'll just hit the, the two key. We'll speed it up. I'm going to pause right now. If we want to remove the roof, let's go ahead and just remove the roof. And we need a place for them to sleep. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit build again. I'm going to go to furniture and I'm going to throw down some beds just like this. I'm going to, if you want to flip the beds, you just do that by Z and X. So the heads of the beds are right there. So I'm going to put one here, one here, one here, and one here. Let's unpause that. Speed that up. All right, I got everything paused again. And this is how I do it. I, I, I like this, The you know, the ability to pause like this is great because it allows you some time to think, see what's going on. Now, the next thing I want to address is I want to address this storage area right here. So we have some meat on the ground. If we leave the meat on the ground and it's not covered, it will deteriorate. So all we have to do, go back into build and build a quick shed. They're calling it a shed which is fine. And we're just going to build that right over it, just like that. So now this thing has a shed and it's ready to go once they build it. And that will help keep the meat and all of that stuff fresh. So let's go ahead and unpause. Let them build the shed up real quick. Perfect. All right. Next thing I want to do is I want to address food. I want to make sure that we have food and I want to make sure that we have tools. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to build another structure. All the while, every time we build a structure, I'm going to explore this creations tab with you and kind of give a quick overview. Every time we do something, this blue bar grows. The only way to gain all of this knowledge is to have your tribes people constantly working. This is why I add a floor to everything so that it has them doing more than just putting up a uh, shed. They're also happier if they have a floor under them. So now what I want to do is I want to build again. This time we're going to build a purpose building, a building where they can craft. So I'm going to do the same type of uh, build. I'm going to use a five and I'm going to use a five by 35. And I'm going to let them build that there. I'm going to go ahead and put a floor in, which is a 25 by 25. Go ahead and unpause and let these guys build this. We've got a limited supply of branches, so we're going to need to get crafting going sooner than later. Once these branches are gone, we won't be able to build tools. Now, here we are at the end of the day. Let's go over here and let's look at the ritual. I'm going to go and slow things down here so we can enjoy this. So that we can, you know, enjoy the the uh, the labor of the developer and check out their artwork and everything. And I can get nice and close here. So this is so cool. They come in here, right? I like this stuff, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> and they eat, which is awesome. Uh, I like the artwork. And as they learn stuff, though, and they sit here, they'll talk to each other and they'll share knowledge. And all of this knowledge that you learn, that these guys learn in the game, you have to uh, scribe it onto stone so that it doesn't get lost. And we're not there yet, but we will be doing cool things like that. I paused the game right now because what I want to do real quick is I want to click on one of our one of our people. And we're going to go to the females. Right now, the females are allowed to get pregnant. For my playthrough and the way I think you know how to play games so my thought is ladies calm down you don't need to be pregnant the minute you hit the ground running here let's have about a year of everybody working and then we'll let the frolic begin but for right now i'm gonna take the uh, pregnancy uh check out of there so that none of these gals get pregnant once they're pregnant they lose the ability to do certain jobs and right now we don't want that also if we selected all of these guys and we wanted them all to run right here here, they would do that so we're going to go ahead and unselect them actually there we go they're unselected i'm making you guys jog i i shouldn't be doing that <laughs> all right hold on let's see if this works this way can i get them to go to bed 
sleep. We can. Good. All right. So let's just go ahead and tell everybody to sleep. Got a bed over here. Sleep. There you go. Everybody go to sleep. All right. We'll speed this up so that everybody gets to bed. Oh, uh, yeah. But you can issue them commands. That was the whole clumsy demonstration of that because you see right here you have commands and you're going to need to be able to do that in order to get them to uh, fight you know when we have to ward off uh, dire wolves or uh, other tribes I'm not sure I haven't played the game to the point that I would know if we have tribes or anything yet that attack us uh, but there was something in the menu that said raids so I'm going to assume there are other villages and they might not be friendly so let's let these guys get up in the morning so let's speed this up quickly because we've got, got some more things to do here we've got to get our crafting station built all right now that they've uh woken up so let's go over here they've got this built we're going to go into the build menu and swing myself around here so i can see and we're going to go to craft and we're going to craft a crafting table right here okay and i think if i'm not mistaken where it is green is where they sit so i want this to go this way and then what i want to do is i'm going to go over to where it says store and I'm going to make a little storage area inside the crafting tent, a 10 by. And once I've done that, we take this yellow box highlighted here and we're going to uncheck all and we're going to say crafted items and raw materials. I'd like animal bones, branches, flint, grass, and wood for now, for now. And once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to assign a crafter. So we're going to open up this right here. And we've got our work, assign work menu. And if you've played RimWorld, you know what this is all about. And if you haven't, play the tutorial. The tutorial does a good job explaining this to you. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to use it right now. So we're going to look in crafting right here. This is crafting. So I find crafting and I want to look for who has the highest skill at crafting. Right now, 290-something, 296. I'm going to tell Nuglock Hawk that your number one priority is crafting. So that's going to be done. So let's go ahead and let these guys go. I'm going to speed them up a little bit. Now, the other thing we have to do is we're going to go here and we're going to click on the crafting table and we're going to get some... Actually, I'm going to make this one... Uh, I'm going to leave this here because I'm going to show you how you can shift the priorities. That is not going to be a priority. That's going to be the last priority. I need this to be the priority, and I'll show you how we're going to change that. And we need blades, we need pickaxes, and we need spears. So right now, this is set to make. So what I want to do is I'm going to drag this rope all the way down to the bottom here, or try to get it down to the bottom. Grab it one more time. There we go. All right, so we're going to go up here. Now, we don't want to make. We want to always make. We want to never run out. And in order to do that, we're going to say maintain and always have five axes ready to go. Same thing with the blades. Maintain and always have ten. Everybody uses those for cutting grass, for foraging. They, get, they wear down faster. Maintain at least five of these pickaxes. And obviously, spears are important. We'll, we'll say five for now. Well, I accidentally did six. I think I can just write it, too. Yeah, five. There we go. If you hit enter, you shoot your menu over there. Uh, and rope, let's just, let's just maintain five rope. And that should be good. Now, I'm going to unpause. And somebody should come along and start crafting for us. Unless it gets nighttime, then they're all going to head over here. And they're going to chat. And then go to sleep, eat, chat, and go to sleep. So we'll let them do that. And what I'd like to get done in this episode is I'd like to get the crafting going. I'd like to get uh, I'd like to get a, a hunting crew going, and I'd like to get a chicken coop built. So let's see if we can get that done before we end this episode. Now, right now, nobody's been told any priorities except for our new crafter. And our new crafter will start to craft axes and put them right there. There he is. That's his priority is to craft. Awesome. Okay, so let me slow this down for a second. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit pause. Now, we've got hunters. Well, we don't have hunters. We're going to have hunters right now. We're going to assign some hunters. So let's grab these top two guys and have them equip these spears. Okay, just click on the spear, right click on it, get the menu, and you will be able to do exactly that. Basically, click on an item and it gives you the opportunity to tell somebody uh, to use it. 
So we've got one more guy here. He's probably coming in from somewhere. Let's speed things up. There he goes. He's got his spear. So now I pause things. So what I'm going to do is before nightfall, I'm going to get another blueprint laid down for these guys. All right. And our little, our little uh, village is starting to look good. All right. I just want to find a place for our chicken coop. I think I'll put our chicken coop right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our build menu. We're going to look for corrals. And just like in RimWorld and games like that, you need to have a pen uh, for your creatures. So we're going to do a 10 by 10. I'm going to do it this way, 10 this way, and 10 this way. And then I'm going to connect it. And then I'm going to add a door. And I'm going to add a feeding trough. And in the morning, when they get up, they'll start it now. But everybody's going to head to the campfire. It's the end of the day. And I love, I love this animation. I love the, the graphics. They're very nice. Now, listen, we are in the very early stages. We don't know anything. We're living in a, in a tent. We're living on grass. We, we can better ourselves by learning more. And speaking of that, let's see how much we're, we're getting on the creation menu here. We're starting to move the needle here. All right. We're starting to be able to figure out more things that we can do. So that's good. Just by working, uh, issuing orders, we're going to be assigning more jobs here. Everybody's going to build until they have a priority. And if the priority guy isn't there, uh, he'll go do something else. But the, but the main idea is we're going to keep this tools going. We're not going to lose tools. We're going to keep tools going because we need them badly. Somebody's always got to keep making tools because the tools wear out. All right, now I'm going to pause this. They've gone ahead and they've made this. So now the hunters need to be assigned their jobs. So we're going to go over here and find hunting, which is right here. And on the priority tab of hunting, click on that and it brings this up. So here you can tell them, I want them to hunt adults and I want them to capture juveniles. All right, so that's done. Let's go ahead and grab this. We want hunting right here. I'm going to give him top priority and him top priority. Go ahead and get rid of that. Let these guys go. I'm going to wait for my hunters. They're going to come and fill the chicken coop with little baby chickens. Boy, the days go by fast, though, don't they? I mean, man, that day's gone. All right. I wonder if you can lengthen the days in the game. You know how some games you can do that. Uh, anyway, okay, they got to sleep through the night one more time. But we did get the chicken coop built, so we're doing really good. We're doing good on time. We've got about 22 minutes of playtime so far. We've got a chicken coop built. We've got a uh, temporary shelter built. We have a crafting area built with storage. We've put a roof over our storage. So we're going to do one really quick thing here. We're going to go into the... Uh, uh, now, how are we going to find this? Let's see if we can find this. Uh, other. Go to other, and then don't go to other. <laughs> go to craft, and then don't go to craft. Go to store. That's where it is. We're going to go to store, and we're going to make a couple of meat racks right here. I'm going to tell these guys to make these meat racks because dried meat lasts longer than this raw meat that they're cooking up every night. So what we want to do is get these racks built and then get that raw meat on there, especially the fish. All right, so they built them. So let's go over here and I'll show you how this works. If you double click on it, you will select both of them. So we're going to put the, the priority to high and they will hang fish and meat. And that's it. We're done. Don't have to do anything else except for assign somebody to food preparation. So I'm going to just go and find the first female, and I'm not I'm not saying that only females should be food preparation, but I've got other plans for these guys. So I, I literally need to use a female here, and I'm going to have her be food prep right here. And now on the priority, I don't see anything here, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, but she's been told to food prep, and basically what that means is she's going to hang that meat. Uh, Any time that there's meat in there, that'll be her priority. And they're going to go to sleep. Oh, I tell you, the days go by fast. They go by super, super fast. All right. I just want to make sure that when the next day comes around that she goes in there and she starts hanging that meat. So I made a mistake. I hit the wrong column. So a, a good thing to do is when you mouse over the column, it'll tell you what it is. So now I know I have her set for food prep. 
Let's go ahead and run the game and see if uh, she comes along and starts prepping. So there she goes. All right. She's prepping the food. Excellent. All right. Perfect. Now, the next thing we need is we have our chicks over here. I'll go ahead and click on one so you can see them. We've got our chicks over here. And now we need to set somebody up to feed our chicks. So we're going to go back into the build. Not the build. I'm sorry. going to go back into assign work. I'm going to grab the next person in line. And now I'm looking for butchering, herding, feeding. This is hunting. And this is feed animals right here. So we're going to set Cora Rush. Her priority is going to be feeding the animals. Let's go ahead and run the game. We're going to go back. Boy, I tell you, man, the days are short. It seems like we can get one thing done per day at this stage, but we're growing. All right. All we have to do is get food into this food bin and uh, we will be rocking and rolling. So let's let them go to sleep. Wake up. All right. And let's make sure that our new uh, worker does her job and we'll just keep an eye right here. And as soon as we see food come in here, uh, we know we're good to go. And we've got our chicken coop. There it is. All right. Excellent. Excellent. We are we are running like a well-oiled machine. All right. So let's take a look at where we are. We're at we're a week in. All right. We've gathered we've we've made some ancestral will. And what that means is now we've got planting. We can craft a hoe. We can craft brown millet seeds. We can craft cultivation, build a farmland. So now we can start growing crops. Uh, we need to hunt seven more animals before we get domestication and raising chickens. Let's see. We got catch chickens, juveniles. We need to catch one more and we'll be uh, set up for raising livestock. So that's how that works. That's awesome. We also have quests here, too. We don't have any quests right now, but I just thought I would show you that. We also have a world map. So we do have quite a bit of uh of things here. I mean, this is this is awesome. This is awesome. I can't wait to unwrap this game. And I hope you guys are psyched for it. So I think what we'll do is let me pause here. All right, we've got 28 minutes of gameplay, minus the little bit of editing I might have to do. Uh, but basically about 28 minutes, less than 30 minutes of gameplay, and we're this far. We've got our campfire. We've got our housing. We've got our storage covered. We have our crafting room, which is starting to fill up with craftables and craftable uh, resources. And we have our chickens. We have our meat rack drying. I think I'll build a couple of more meat racks uh, so that there's a place for the fish. And then that's where we might head next is we might start getting our fishing industry going by making a fishing crafting table that allows us to get a harpoon and start to get some serious fish. I want to get food production going. I don't want food to be an issue. In these types of games, I feel that's very important. You guys let me know. Listen, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, look at Primitive Society Simulator. It's our first access granted as a real channel. I'm so excited. I hope you guys uh, like the video and please do me a favor, hit the like button so other people can see this and maybe they might enjoy the game. Uh, thank you again, everybody. I love you all. I'll see you in the next episode. Ta-ta and bye-bye.